Is there some way on chess.com that I can just play the engine so that I can just have to eat my words and eat my words or not? Okay, let's go, you guys. Let's go. Let's go here. Let's go. Let's go. Let's move along. This is a game between Nair and Ali Reza Ferugia. Um, okay, we have a Petrov defense. Same system with D4. Knight D2. Okay, pretty standard so far. Uh, Ali Reza won a nice game in the first round against Abasov with this whole D4 line. So, um, clearly he prepped it for the tournament. Pretty normal so far. Looks very normal, actually. D4. Bishop C2. Bishop H4. So it looks good for white. I mean, you have the bishop pair. The bishop is, the bishop is kind of weird on b1. That being said, black can always take and go b6. Very solid position, I would say. Like Even a position like this, it's hard to really take advantage of it for white. I mean, I think white is better here, but it's going to take some work. That being said, Ali Reza certainly is better. Has Ali Reza played any super GMs? Um, I don't think he has, actually. That's one of the things with Swiss tournaments is generally uh, the field is a lot different. Or maybe he drew... No, he drew Maxime, sorry. He played Maxime. So he did have um he did have uh, one game against Maxime. But otherwise, yeah, he's played a lot of 2600s. Um and he's, he's had a good he's had a good event. No, no doubt about it. Um he's probably had the easiest pairings objectively as well. But again, he started off really fast, so in, in a way you kind of deserve a easier pairings. Alarez has four minutes to make more than 10 moves. Oh, actually, wait, you're right. 323. Time is ticking here for Ali Reza. And the one thing I would say about Ali Reza is that um is that Ali Reza, his nerves were not great in the last game against Shirov, it felt like. He was definitely winning there. Wasn't able to put the game away. So we're going to see if his nerves can, um, if his nerves hold up in this situation. Because that is the one thing. He has a winning position. Material is balanced. Very complicated. No clear-cut plan for why White is winning. This is one of these positions where the computer says, yeah, White's much better. But, but again, for humans, I'm sure Ali Reza thinks he's better, but does he think he's plus two better or plus 1.5 better? Definitely not. So the game goes on. So CD4, I think takes knight D4. Well, I guess you can't take some knight E6 maybe and a fork. I mean, still very messy. So there are two options. I mean, pawn takes must be right, but knight D4 is also quite appealing here. Does Magnus have the best nerves in the business? Um, I would say in general, Magnus does have the best um does have the best uh, tie breaks objectively, or not tie breaks, sorry, best uh, best nerves, primarily because he responds the best under pressure. The number of times he's won critical games, uh, like you think about his world championship match, playing Karyak in game 10, down a game, needing to win that game, the way he was able to pull through and win that game. I mean, there are countless other examples, but I would say probably Magnus and maybe Sergei Karyak are the two players with the best nerves um, overall. Thank you to Happy Danny for the gifted sub. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for the 300 bits. Thank you, Scott Krebich, for the 20 months as well. Thank you so much, you guys. Appreciate it. How much time for Arena Kings? Arena Kings will be in um, in 90 minutes, roughly. We will be playing. We'll be trying to take that down as well. Um, so we do have Arena Kings, which will be happening after after we cover this. So that's what I'd say. How about you? Where do you place my, yourself? I think, I mean, I think I have decent nerves. I wouldn't say that I, I have like great nerves or anything. I think I'm somewhere in the middle. Um, I think there are certain players who definitely their nerves are worse for very specifically. I think Levon Aronian, um, the number of times he's collapsed at the end of the candidates tournament certainly speaks to having, having, having bad nerves. Um, that's really one. That's really the only example I can think of where someone very clearly has, um, has kind of failed in critical situations on multiple, mul multiple occasions. Um, so, so that's what I would say. Game for Ali Reza. Ali Reza is winning. Oh, he's that. Wait, is he up two? No, he's only up one pawn. This looks winning for. This actually looks quite cleanly winning for Ali Reza. Oh, Ali Reza's that. I, I don't see why Ali Reza isn't just going to win this game, honestly, because the same color bishops after rook e5, rook b7, a5. You can even play rook b5, and because it's same color bishops, I think e I think even this end game is probably winning here. Like. This looks, this looks, I think this is winning because you have, you have the, you have the outside pawn. King is coming up with same color bishops. This must be winning for white. hundred percent. This has to be winning. So because it's same color, same color. Um, oh, there is one trick. Aha. Aha. I caught it. There is one trick and it's the only trick in the position, which is rook a seven. You can take and go bishop c4 and maybe you can somehow squeak this out and draw this end game. Maybe you can make a draw if you can trade this. Like for example, you get some position like this. Um, this you might this position you're close to this position might be a draw with correct play so if you can somehow if you can trade the bishops on c4 that is the last hope for um 
that is the last hope for uh for for Nair. so it's not actually so clear it's not super easy what happened b5 was played okay so we yeah so so this trade happened like this is the thing is it's actually winning after rook c5 c3 because black's gonna get rid of the pawn here i think it'll logic for the 510 bits um but yeah black's gonna get rid of this pawn i'm gonna say this right now i suspect that this is winning but i think it's gonna be extremely difficult uh extremely difficult for um extremely difficult for for Ali Reza to win this I suspect with perfect play there's some technique that's winning but I I don't think he's gonna win this if if uh what what, what move are they they're on 37 it's tricky I feel like Ali Reza needs a few more moves to like get the king in and again I I'm gonna I'm gonna say this I don't think um I don't think Ali Reza is gonna win this unless he finds a technique before move 40 where where he's able to get his king in like he's gonna have to play h4 I mean computer says this is winning I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I think this is gonna be a draw I think this is gonna be a draw he should have played rook c6 no but rook c6 I just go rook b5 and it's the same end game um and I take him my rooks behind the pawn I think this is a draw I think this is gonna be a draw uh that's that's my prediction that this will be a draw a uh, computer says plus 1.8 because white's up a pawn but there are a lot of technical lines uh, let me just see what, what what does computer say computer says king g7 okay i just want to see well but now rook b6 and no this is stupid because now here rook b5 no no this is stupid so okay so rook c5 i want to see i'm just going to follow the computer lines computer says g4 which is a ridiculous move I, I i this is not winning by the way yeah rook a8 rook a3 and now it's coming down again the bar is coming down the computer doesn't know what it's talking about this is a draw so if, if rook c5 and c3 is played i think nair is going to draw this game it's not easy to draw but I think this is going to be a draw that's that's my prediction um the, this lead chess says plus 0.7 chess.com engine is ultra bad well on the flip side of that Bosnian game but that also means that I'm better than Stockfish as well because my intuition is that this is is that this is probably a draw with perfect play there is a good saying which is um all rook and pawn end games are drawn would Magnus win this I mean with time I don't think this is winning I'm just going to say this I don't think this is winning I just don't think it's winning unless there's some way that you can do something like this and get the king over but I don't know I mean I don't think it's winning and rook c5 is played as expected to go c3 and ooh ooh I don't I don't think this is winning I don't I don't think this is winning for all I mean I don't I, Ollie Reza will definitely push and try to win but my instinct is that this is a draw that's my instinct cocky yep well I can be cocky about a rook and pawn end game is there a way that I can play stockfish from this position is there some way on chess.com that I can just play the engine so that I can just have to eat my words and eat, eat my words or not okay let's go you guys let's go let's go here let's go let's go okay King there now I can play Rook H2 problem is annoying because it shows the um it, it shows uh actually I'll just leave it here it shows the best move but I'm not I'm not looking at the best move um so I'm just gonna ignore I'm just gonna ignore it and just look at the right left side of the screen okay so Rook A2 makes sense King G7 makes sense I think I'm gonna go rook a2 go king g7 go here okay okay now I can play h5 let's go h5 okay okay do I go f I think I'm gonna go f6 here let's take let's take it's actually winning I can play rook a2 I can also check here okay if I go rook a2 king e6 but if the rook's on f7 king runs over okay if I go rook g5 king e6 rook a6 king d7 that's losing um is tricky um it's zeros wait what do you mean it's a draw what do you mean draw I'm trying to figure this out I mean I don't see it okay let's see okay let's go check because if I don't check he is check rook f7 a7 the king goes over so let's go rook a2 
I go here, he's got H4. Then I go rook A4. Let's go here. Go here. Go here. Bro, you're not winning this end game. No, you're not winning this, bro. You're not winning this. No. Game drawn. Come on, you guys. See, I told you. Computers don't know anything about chess. They're, they're a joke. I told you guys. Computers don't know anything. I think this is a draw with perfect play. That's my guess. But yeah, you can yeah you can just click analysis. So it's very easy to do. Um, but like I'm saying, this is a draw. I think with correct play, I don't think Ali Reza is gonna win this game. Like I told you, it's a very tricky end game. The only chance to win, um, is maybe. How can you like the only way to win here? How can you win this? I'm just trying to think. Is if you could somehow get let, let me give you an example. If you could somehow get this one, I think this is winning. I think with a rook on b7, this is winning. Because what happens is you can actually bring the king king in. Like, you can go f4. Well, you put f4, there's still check. But I think this is winning because you can get the king all the way over and come up. And black won't be able to get a pass pawn. I think this one is winning. This one, I think, is this one I think might be winning. And actually, but actually, you know, you look at the evalu evaluation bar, it still says plus one. So even in this version with a pawn on a7 rook here, still probably not winning. So um, very tough very tough um so yeah so you guys are asking me about what happened in Ali Reza's games I'll, I'll explain the big question mark so as I was explaining during the game there were two big question marks here uh King King g6 King h6 draw I think maybe even King f6 draws um but also Rook b2 is a draw too I believe so after takes you make a Queen and it's a draw because if white Queens you go check King a7 you have Queen a3 to collect the Rook a uh, classic right triangle as you see Seen is scuffed, scuffed, it doesn't really matter if the scene is scuffed because you guys can see the position, so it doesn't really matter. Um, but you see, the thing is, so king a7, there's queen a3. You can't go here because you lose the queen, of course. So the only square you can go to is b7. But now I can make a check on f3 to hit the king. And again, you don't have many squares. If you go to c7, c8, or b6, all three of the squares hang the queen. So you can't go to these three squares. So again, you're left where you only have two squares. If you go to a7, I have queen a3 check. Again, I collect the rook. And when you go here, I go queen b8. And so you can never go to a7. And this is the point. It's just a classic right triangle. And um, apparently Nair hasn't studied his math recently because this would have been this would have been a clean draw here. Um, so this is one, this is the first thing. The second thing that white can try is rook b7, but it's the same problem because now you go king h6. And now if white makes the queen, you go check king a7 check and it's the same thing it's again the right triangle and it's just a draw so it's just a it's just a draw here and um, there's one other line which is white can play rook b6 here but after king to g5 again it's a draw because you make the queen and now i go check if king b7 i go i go queen to e7 check and if king a6 i go queen a3 again right triangle maneuver you guys or the square box whatever you want to call it um if you go here you get skewered ouch time there's also this right triangle so there are all kinds of right triangles that exist in this position and um somehow it, it feels like he just didn't didn't see the uh he just didn't see the right triangles basically so this is the, this is just a draw plain and simple it's, it's all just a draw and so there's just no way to win and if check you go king a7 again i go queen a3 check rook to a6 and i go queen to c5 king to b7 queen to b4 more right triangles um and if you come up i think i can just check here or wait no check is queen c3 king d5 queen f. actually you know what this draw is tough this draw actually is hard to see i thought it was simpler than this actually this is, this is a draw but this is a tough draw so you know what you can't really say that he should have seen this one necessarily um because it is quite tricky to tricky to find the whole thing um but the draw that he should have found was very simply king g6 now my guess is what happened um is that essentially Nair for, he had a hallucination which is that he hallucinated check uh takes takes king g5 rook f rook f1 king h4 takes king h3 king h3 and I think he hallucinated that rook f6 he could play h5 and make a draw I think he this is what I think he hallucinated was that basically he forgot he had h5 he only saw like king g4 rook h6 in his calculation you lose the position so I think this is what what he overlooked but this is a draw just to be clear takes king here um, and there's nothing white can do. White can try something like this, but again, white's king is too slow here. You go king d5, king h1, king e4, h2. And now you have to move the rook away. And when you go away, I just go here, and it's just a very easy draw. So my guess is that this is what Nair missed. That's all I can see. Um, 
No, it's not that Ali Raza saw it further. I think I think Nair and his deep complications, he just he hallucinated that on rook f6 there was h5. He just hallucinated, which is why he thought, well, I can't move the king. So if I can't move the king, then he then he might have spent all his time looking at this crazy line was rook b2. Now, mind you, as I said, this is a draw, but I mean this is very, very hard to spot. Uh, because again, it's like check. And just so you guys see the see the draw, sorry, it is check. Um, rook a6, and you have to go check. King b7. I think it's check here and queen e5. I mean, again, very, very dank. Wait, is this a draw? Wait a second. Wait. No, it's queen e7, king c6, queen e6, king c5, queen e3. And okay, I mean, this is a draw, but this is a very, very tough very very tough draw um yeah the computer sees it i don't see it i mean I, I as a human i don't see it the draw he should have seen was of course king g6 king h5 king h4 that's what i don't understand um in terms of this game as far as why uh what, what nair missed because king g6 is very very straightforward and routine as far as i can tell um there's also a chance that maybe maybe in his calculation nair missed this um he just miscalculated that he forgot the king was on a not b because for example let me just set it up if the king is on b8 in this position i believe this is winning right because you go or you go rook f7 h5 rook g7 here and you're in the box you go here here h3 king e5 king h1 here 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 king h1 and then rook a7 king g1 check king h2 take so there's some chance that he also could have hallucinated and forgot the king was on a not b8 in this position um in terms of why he didn't go king g6 because as I said, if you if you hallucinate and forget that the king is on eight, not b eight, and you miscalculate the path back, um, you could uh, you could miss you could just hallucinate this or miscalculate it and end up missing it. But that being said, he still should have played it um, because because it was the only try. So this is what I, I I mean I don't know I don't know why he didn't do this. Um, that's the only thing. This one is not I, I really don't feel like it's easy to miscalculate this honestly because it's just straightforward calculation um like you see you see the king is on a and your king gets to h5 so like as i'm thinking about this i'm not i'm trying not to look at the board i'm just looking at my head there's king b7 king h4 king c6 king h3 king b5 king g2 you know that's you know that's fine so then by process of elimination the only other line is this this and if rook h1 you know you have king g3 and you're drawing this too so the only line is rook f1 so you by process of elimination you get to this position immediately and it's not really hard because b7 h5 c6 h4 d5 g3 rook a2 h3 e4 h2 it's pretty straightforward um so my guess is that what happened is um i'll tell you what i think the process was i think the process nair probably spent like a couple minutes thinking rook b2 is an easy draw and he probably then he realized after a few minutes of thinking that you know once you get to this position uh you can check all over the board but he probably didn't see the draw for a human it's very hard to see to see this uh to see this draw with queen c5 and queen d5 and so forth and then he probably spent a couple minutes and he hallucinated the king positioning on a or b or he forgot rook f6 h5 was a draw that's my guess in terms of why he didn't do it um that's 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 the only reasoning that i have behind why he played f1 queen um is that he just he, he just hallucinated something he either hallucinated this one as i said before um he hallucinated that on rook f6 there was just h5 and it's a draw um or he hallucinated and forgot that in this end game the king is on a not b8 and he just miscounted uh he miscounted the squares that the king is coming back here and he thought the king was getting to g3 that's the only only reason um for for what happened um uh, it says it's winning for white earlier maybe it is but i'm not going to get really deep into the uh into the analysis but that's my guess in terms of the very end what happens nair either he forgot rook f6 h5 or he miscounted the squares with the king from a back to f3 that's the only reason uh that i can explain f1 Thank